All right, guys, it's starting to get dark. Um, and basically, this is the last round. And I'm going to just go straight from 550 yards to 850 yards. That's where those white papers are, side by side. It's kind of like in the middle of the screen right there. Um, if you look all the way to the left, there's a bull there. That's at around 900 yards. Um, but there's basically there's a there's a, a um, what you're seeing across over there is like two mountaintops or two hilltops, right? So in between the two hilltops, you really can't shoot. Uh, I could get a little bit closer, but it's a little bit it's 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 hard to access. So I don't think I got enough daylight left to try and and get like to to the 700 yards, which is where I would have preferred to um, start. Um, so we're just going to go straight to 850 yards. I, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a Hail Mary um, because that's like I'm definitely not ready to jump from the 550 up to the 850, from the 550 to 850. The reason I say that is because uh, I did have to adjust the scope up because I've seen in my previous shooting that at 550 yards, I'm shooting at the bottom of the paper and I had to hold to the top and that like just that was still shooting like towards the middle. So what I did is on this... Um, on this scope over here, with the this is the PLX, the fifteen hundred dollars scope, right? This is the primary arms M8 Raptor on top of the Ruger um, Ruger uh, MPR. Um, this one I adjusted up six clicks. All right, kind of hoping that will get me where I need to be. That one over there, which uh, I adjusted that one up four clicks. Okay, so with at least with the with the with the um, M8 Raptor. It tells us exactly where we need to be, or where we should, or I, I, theoretically where we should be at 850 yards. So we probably got a better shot at hitting that versus the mill grid because with the mill grid, I've got no idea what my holdover should be on that. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to shoot that. I, 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 that's something I need to figure out on a different day uh, where I got more time to kind of like figure out what my mill hold. I think I think it's probably somewhere around seven, but I, I really have no idea. That's just a guess. The good thing about this M8 Raptor primary arms tells us where we should be at 850 yards. So we're going to do both of these magazines um, on this uh, M8 Raptor at, at, the, at the 850 yards side by side. We're going to do one and then, then the other. Hopefully we'll, you know, uh, this one, great scope over here. I'm loving this SLX 1 to 10 by... Um, by 28 with the mill grid. I like, I love the mill grid for communication. It's very flexible, but this is where it kind of falls short. If you don't already have the information in your head where you, cause I know where I gotta be at 550 yards. I don't know where I need to be at, at, um, at, uh, at 850 yards. Uh, and that's, that's something I have to build. I have to build up a database. So since we're pressed on time, we're just going to shoot this M8 Raptor. Okay. Since like that, we're racing against the sun right now, because I still got, you know, I, I don't own this location, so I, I got to pick up my brass here. It's not like my place where I use the brass as a red carpet to stand on. Here, I got to clean it up. But the good thing is I get to take it back to my place and spread it all over the place. So, okay, let's get on this, boy. All right, we're going to shoot the first target on the left first. See if I can get my elevation right here. Actually, I gotta rotate this up. Get high up over there. Okay, here we go. I see my target. Eight magnification. All right, now I gotta find the eight line. Ah, right, so I got. I'm gonna. <laughs> so this only goes up to eight. So I'm gonna hold right at the top, and hopefully that'll do it. Eight. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the line right underneath that. I'm going to hold that to the top. Where the, there's a break after the 8. Based on what I'm seeing so far, and I, since I got limited time, I'm just going to go straight to that line. I'm going to hold that to the top of the paper. I lost, I lost my target. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I saw what I hit. That hit that's hitting the dirt to the low to the left. I wouldn't be surprised if we got no hits on target. I saw that I saw that impact low to the left on the ground. So that means I'm my holdover's way low. Try this again. I'm going to throw the next magazine, the next one to the right, see if we can get any hits. So I, I saw one impact low, to the, saw one impact low, so I know if anything I'm, I'm, I'm favoring, you know, I'm, I'm probably too low in my holdovers, which is the pattern that I've seen today in my shooting, and I had to adjust up. I just, I did adjust the scope up a little bit here. For this, but I still I still think I'm a little bit too low. Right. Let's get down there. Look, uh, I did see an impact on that one behind it in the dirt. So that, that one, actually, uh, there's a little bit of hope. Maybe that one that was like low to the left, maybe that was just a fluke. Uh, maybe I pulled it. I don't know. Let's get down there and look because uh, we're running out of daylight. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe we even get a chance to take another one more run at this. We pull. Walking up to the targets. That's where we were all the way down there with the flashing lights, if you can see them. So, yeah, so if you look in between here, basically we're shooting across like two hilltops. So that, there's like a dead valley in there. I mean, I can get, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to get down there. Let's see, do we get any hits here? Shit, I can't even get behind it. Hold up. Well, that is interesting. I don't think the bullet holes, but it looks like I hit dirt down here and it bounced up. So I got to hold it much higher. See, that's a, that's a keyhole. See how that keyhole right there? That's a bullet that hit here, bounced up. So I got it hold even higher. Oh, what's this? Is this a hit? Is that a bullet or is that a rock? Whoa. Okay, hold on. I'm like, hold over here. That might be a rock. I can't tell. That might be a rock that hit this. I'm gonna take one more shot at this. I got just enough daylight. This time I'm gonna hold much higher because clearly I'm centering up and I bounced some rocks up and they hit at the bottom there. All right, here you go, guys. This is the last one for today because it's starting to get too dark. So I got 10 round loaded. I'm just gonna hold higher, um, higher than basically because now I'm past the holds of the Raptor, right? So I'm going into the mill grid. Um, so I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go to the first bar. So I'm going to 10 mils. I mean, yeah, I'm going down to 10 mils. I mean, this is a, a hill, a hill. Actually, you know, I'm going to load up here. I'm going to put one, one at, um, nine mils and then one at 10 mils. One at, um, nine and a half mils, I think. I, I, I forgot what it is in there. And then one at 10 mils. Okay, let's do this. All right. 
pressure's on. Running out of dead left. I gotta zoom back in order to find this guy. Yeah, so we'll go nine mils on one target and then ten mils on the other, holding to the top of the paper. So that was at 9 mils. Now I'm going to do 10 mils on the one to the right. Hopefully one of these hits and we'll have some data as far as what the hole needs to be. I'm obviously rushing a little bit here with the light. And also because I think they're going to throw me out of here in a little few minutes. <laughs> Ten mils. So that was the barbell. Barbell, on top of the target. Let's get down there, take a quick look, pick up the targets, get back here, and pack everything up. Pause this camera. All right, guys, moment of truth. We got the sun setting over there. Back there with the blinking lights is where we were. Let's see if we got any hits at, at uh, 850 yards. So the one on the left was the nine mil hold. One, is there an easier way to access this shit? I'm gonna fall again. Hold on. See, can I see the back? You know, the back of the paper's got too much crap on it. I can't see it. Alright, so. Zip on at 10 mils. Anything on 9 mils. Wait, is that a hit? We got one hit! We got one hit! Yep, that's a bullet hole. We got one hit. That's from earlier. That's a rock or something that popped up over there. Well, let me pull this shit out of the ground. Pull this out. I'll kill myself up here. No. Stretch this out. Yeah, so we got one hit with the nine mils way at the bottom. So let me tell you guys, you saw what I did at the 550 yards, right? Which is that hill over there. Uh, I mean, I was getting some nice tight groups, all right? I was, they were coming in at about nine inches. So from 550 yards to 900 yards, big, big challenge, okay? I'm sorry, 850 yards. 850 yards here, big, big challenge. And uh, I know I, I was holding pretty good as far as like when I was shooting it, like I, when I was pulling the trigger, my... My my uh my hold wasn't coming off target by much. It was mostly going straight up. So basically, I was shooting about as good as when I was shooting at the at the 500 yards. So what that means is that the 70 same grain bullets, 
I think that at 850 yards, they're they basically they've destabilized. They're they're, they're basically you know they're 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 we're getting like really wide groups. Uh, what I really need is something that's like 700 yards um, to try and, you know, which is like maybe downhill over there. The problem is, see, like there's a hill, there's a valley in between these two points here. So it's very hard for me to get to to 700 yards here because that's really where I need to be, um, you know, uh, to like really test this to the next level. right? Because at 550 yards, nice group. I know that'll get me to 600 yards, no problem. 700 yards is really where I need to test this out and see what type of a grouping uh, I'm getting. So that's today's uh, that's today's uh, excitement, guys. Learned a whole bunch of things. Um, definitely learning, you know, my uh, my limits here because 850 yards definitely cannot put reliable hits on targets with this ammunition and with this, you know, with a 5.56 and this type of ammunition. I was hoping I might be able to. We did get that one hit, though. I feel really good about it. So at least the bolts are in the general area, meaning that if you're if you're shooting at somebody, if I'm shooting at somebody at 850 yards with this setup, they're going to land close enough that they're going to take cover. And they're going to think about, like, they're going to not want to get closer to me, right? You see where the blinking lights are down there? All right, that's 850 yards away. So if I can, at 850 yards, I may not be able to hit them, but I can put bullets close enough at them that it will not want, it will most likely, like, you know, maybe not want them to come any closer to me. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I got to pack this stuff up before it gets completely dark here. Talk to you guys soon.